Okay, so I woke up from my nap at 11 tonight. Uh, before I went to sleep, I pushed the button on the phone to update the software. I'll put a screenshot in here. The car is just not to update three times in a row now, so we're out going out to the car to either see what it says on the screen or reset it and try again manually. Let's take a look. Ah, error. Music. Error, sentry mode is on. Please turn off sentry mode and try again. See, that's a message that would be very useful to get in the car. So now we know. Let's turn it off and see what we do. We'll click the software update button. We're going to do this old school. We'll click install now. On the countdown timer, we're going to click one, two, one, two, three times, and we're going to get out. Ah, we forgot to turn off sentry mode. <laughs> we'll do this again. That was the reason we were in the screen. Yeah. Close. Safety and security. Sentry mode. Maybe we need another nap. <laughs> Update. Install now. One, two, three in a row. And we get out. Wah. Starting update, it says. All right, let's check the app and see if it says anything. It says sentry mode is off. I'm not going to screenshot that part. All right, and so now we get a software update in progress message. All right, it's disconnected from the charging. So here we go. We'll be back when it is up to date. Catch you on the flip side. And we're back. I just got a notification that the car has completed software update to 2019.8.5, which is the one that gives us the ability to do lane changes without confirmation. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, so we get oversteer and stoplight warning. That's not new. Sorry, the auto steer stoplight warning. That's not new for us. Navigate on autopilot beta of new features. Navigate on autopilot can now make lane changes without requiring the driver to confirm the suggested lane change. To turn off, Lane change confirmations go to controls, autopilot, customize on, on auto, customize navigate on autopilot, require lane change confirmation, set it to no. With lane change confirmations turned off, you can adjust how you prefer to be notified by adjusting lane change notifications. And we can also set it to enable at the start of every trip, which is good. Or, uh, like Tesla Joyce stated, uh, she doesn't like it, so she can set it to never. Um, Confirmation turned off. Lane changes will only be made once we confirm the driver's hands are on the wheel. I just watched a, another Tesla YouTuber who was trying to demonstrate, and he was hovering his hands over the wheel. And yeah, thanks for the lights turning off right when it's demonstrating. Anyway, he was he was hovering the hands over the wheel, trying to demonstrate that he was not um, touching the wheel. And each time he did it, the car wouldn't actually do the steering because it didn't trust him. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Disabling lane change confirmation does not abdicate the driver's responsibility to keep their hands on the wheel. Be engaged at all times and carefully monitor the driver's surroundings. All right, so sentry mode, I got that last time. And this new acceleration mode, I also got last time. On the ludicrous equipped cars, instead of the max battery button, uh, we have a power level plus button. So let's take a look at that. That would be under driving. And so instead of max battery being a little blue link here, it's now a ludicrous plus. All right, I'm done let creep. Let's do autopilot. And we're going to... Okay, that's the way I like it. We're going to customize, navigate on autopilot. 
Enable the start of every trip. Heck yeah. Uh, I'd like Mad Max. We're gonna require lane change confirmation. We're gonna set that to no. This does not make your vehicle autonomous. You must continue to keep your hands on the wheel and monitor the vehicle's surroundings. Lane changes may happen quickly at any time and you must remain in control. Are you sure you want to disable the lane change confirmation? No, I want my money. Yes, bring it on. All right, so it's going to do both. And let's close this. And tomorrow, I guess I'll drive to the Charleston Airport. And that will be my demo. I'll hook up the 360 camera. Well, it all depends on traffic. So it might be tomorrow afternoon that I do something. But for now, let's say, let's leave early and go to the Charleston Airport and see what happens. Okay, nothing else jumped out at me as new with the software update. So like I said, tomorrow morning we will take a trip and see how the, confirm the confirmation-free navigation on autopilot lane changes are. See you in the morning.